there a place where I can download a recommended target curve to put into multi QX? Oh, yeah. are you serious? <laughs> I mean, oh I'm... man. Okay, since Never Magic Beans called Magic, Magic Beans. Magic Bean, the whole point of it is to determine the exact target curve that you should be using yeah. based on your speakers in your room while you're sitting in your main listening position. But until that's out, right? Then I can't complain that there's you know there's nothing out there. So I I think that the Harmon curve that's not meant to be a target is probably a decent guess, right? If you were to just guess. Out of all the curves, you have to guess flat line. You definitely don't want that, mm-hmm. unless you're near field. Um, I think it's a good guess. I, I would say just use a target curve and then adjust. You know, use your ears. I was about to say use your ears. <laughs> or simply, you know, the, my actual recommendation is if your speakers are decent, don't let the correction happen over 500 hertz just let your speakers do whatever they do correct below 500 hertz and then adjust the bass level up and down so it sounds right to you you know put on some decent headphones compare it how's the bass over here on this song listen okay it's about the same you're good to go Mm -hmm. simple um if you're asking you should get a measurement mic if for anything else to prove joe wrong all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, so let's see. Reverend Slim did answer that question also. He says, what is it? What's that? This one. It says, look in multi Q X thread over AVS. There are quite a few different curves there for import, Harmon, Olive Tool, etc. Try until you find one you like. Yeah. They're all going to be pretty. They're all going to be wrong for your exact room, but yeah, it won't be. A- they're they're going to be uh, you, you're you're kind of just getting an estimate, right? Don't expect it to be perfect because that's not what these are. Just want to put that out there. Magic Beans will take into account your room and what your speakers are capable of, and give you the correct target curve. Is that correct? That is correct. Actually, actually I was messaging uh, Doctor Sean Olive, right on Facebook and. Who? Asking him what he thought. Yeah, what do you think? Just showing all the different curves, right? The whole the whole thing is like, what is the target curve? They're all different. Like I look at Chana's target curve in his room; it's different. My theater is different from this studio, and that if makes Aaron sense. Ever, you know, one curve. If Aaron ever gets uh, some speakers, uh, we, we yeah. can be like, how dare you? Also. Alvin follows up. He said it won't be the right curve, but it will be better than Odyssey's de- default. I, I would have to agree with that. Yeah, I, I 100% agree. I've done the Magic Beans, or Joe's done Magic Beans in two of my rooms, three of them if you count my studio. And uh, that was a Dirac one. And then they just, it just, it just sounds way better. Mm-hmm. With the beans. That's right. We don't know. Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, we don't know what the price will be for these beans. What I don't know. Be? Out. I'll make it, I'll make it yeah. super high. <laughs> make it so no one can afford it. Yeah. Ah, I want to make one sale a year. Aaron needs to rob the yeah. guy in the background for his money. I need to one million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> one million dollars. <laughs> It'll be affordable, man. Let's just put it this way: it's gonna be the thing that. Here's what I want: I want it to be a purchase where you buy this thing and it. M- Improves the sound of your system more than anything else you could have purchased, right? right. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. I think that's fair, right? If you can buy something else that'll make your system sound better, then buy that thing, right? So, yeah, <laughs> nineteen ninety nine. Oh, damn, do it, man. <laughs> no, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. You're hilarious. <laughs> Um, nineteen ninety nine. So what else? So look, I, I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be nineteen ninety nine. Just because, what can you buy that's nineteen ninety nine? That's going to make your uh, five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars system sound better. Yeah, what I mean, you it's it's the same thing with our toolkit. You know, people are like, oh, hundred dollars is a lot. Well, considering what it actually can do, it's probably the cheapest upgrade that'll have the most impact on your system than anything else out there. You know, yeah. unless you're taking that. Uh, speaker cable pill you know and it's like oh 
I got some new speaker cables. Nope. You know? Sounds it's great. Free. Check under your seat. Oh, effect, right? Uh, I'll for a check under your seat. It's free. <laughs> uh, yeah. You get a bean. Yeah. You get a bean. Everyone gets a bean. Everybody yeah. gets a bean. So just uh, just to give you guys an idea, I've been working on this for over a year. Made zero dollars. Zero dollars. Oh, okay. You're doing really good, man. Your return on investment. Yeah, I'm pretty Still. good. You should put yeah, a filler on there. I need, to, there. <laughs> I need, I need to recoup some of my sleep at least. Yeah, I'm gonna come out with the app and not do anything. I'm just gonna sleep. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. For 1999, you get to do one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna find a, a price that's fair. You know, I'm looking at the competition or whatever else is out there. I think this can provide a better result. So if it can be a better result at the same similar price, I think that's a fair price. Anyway, what else? I mean, it's the price people are already paying. So, there, yeah, nineteen ninety nine. You get to do one speaker. So, just make a count. <laughs> which one? Which one would you do? I I go. Would, I consider that, but you know why that wouldn't work? Because then people would just do a bunch of calibrations. Oh, yeah, for yeah. every speaker. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, uh, what? What? Uh, no, where was it at? Oh, K-Skate price. Ah! Six G's. Yeah, no, I don't. I want. I want to sell a lot. You know, I want to make it as affordable as possible so that the most people can get it. You know, mm -hmm. what is the competition I have in mind? I don't know. I think well, we already know who the competition is. I don't know that it's competition because it does work with Odyssey. It works with Dirac. It works with these. I, I don't think automatic it, systems. It's 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 not a. It's not like an automatic room correction. It's it's actually what it is is a, a method of manually calibrating your system that has been automated to do it in 20 minutes as opposed to six hours. So it's really um, not competition. It's an alternative, I think. I, I would say it goes on top of, let's say, Dirac, right? It can You run Dirac, and then at the very end, when it asks you for the target curve, it's going to recommend one. But this is when you'd use something like Magic Beans to put in the correct curve. So I don't want to say alternative. Um, su supplemental? I don't know. What do you, ca what do you call it? Additional? Just, uh, additional, yeah. It makes that better, right? So it doesn't do time alignment and all that stuff. It just does one specific thing, which is come up with the correct target curves. So if you're running Odyssey with Multi-QX, you still need to figure out what the target curve is. Yeah. Those apps don't do it. So... It's another thing. It's another thing, of course. So, go corporate. Make it a subscription. Um, I don't like app trucks after you finish one speaker. Um, I hope you shake things up, Joe. Uh, I actually said that in my video. I, I said it's it's the disruptor. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at what time is it? About six p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at. YouTube.com slash Daily Hafa. We out. <laughs>